Hello students. So uh, in this lecture, uh, we will talk about uh, OEU. Hydrophobic coatings. Now the word hydrophobic means it is repelling water repelling. Phobic means phobia, hydro means water. So those coatings which are hyper uh, water repelling are called hydrophobic coatings. And uh, look into the contact angles uh, so the contact angles means you put a drop of uh, liquid and the coating the, the angle it makes at the surface this angle is probably is the contact angle theta. So uh, for hydrophobic coatings, if, uh, if it is a deionized water, DI water, then the contact angle lies between uh, 100 to 108 uh, degree. Hydrophobic coatings are those which have got higher contact angles. So in DI water it is 100 to 108. And if it is in uh, ethylene glycol, then the contact angle is uh, 85 to 90 degrees. So pretty high contact angles. These hydrophobic coatings have. Uh, they have got uh, low surface energy. Second is they, they possess low surface energy. And the values are uh, 13 to 20 dying per centimeter squared. properties they are uh, anti reflecting in nature they are anti reflecting and they have called uh, low refractive index uh, uh, around uh, 1.33 to 1.42 so uh, these anti reflection things they uh, have they improve the light transmission by reducing the bounce back of light. So that is an advantage. Uh, so the light uh, transmission gets improved uh, when the bounce back is reduced. That's why I put anti reflecting coatings, AR coatings. Mm -hmm. These hydrophobic coatings uh, are also used uh, for uh, exterior production films. Like uh, they are used for top coatings for display and photovoltaics. This 
the screens. They are also uh, light kinds. Light kinds means they can focus uh, light between two dissimilar materials. This was all about uh, hydrophobic coatings. Now, an upgraded version of uh, hydrophobic coating is uh, called super hydrophobic coating. Super hydrophobic coatings uh, are those coatings which have uh, the contact angle uh, more than uh, 150 degree. So theta C is greater than 150 degrees. Now uh, we can achieve this hydrophobicity uh, by Roughening the hydrophobic surface, so increase the roughness. Uh, then we need to uh, increase in this hydrophobicity or increase in uh, the contact angle. Now, coming to the uh, structure. Uh, these are phase called phase separated spinodontulous powder. Now, a piece of steam glass can be heat, uh, heat treated. They can be uh, called piece of steam uh, spiral structure. Mm. Now, they are made by prepared by uh, first of all, you need to have a glass powder. Basically, a crushed uh, glass powder. These are treated with uh, acid. self-assembled monolayers so it's basically polymeric material and so 
then we actually obtain the uh, super hydrophobic glass powders. So what these uh, well, the rule of uh, the, the rule of this self-assembled bond is that uh, what they do they form a coating surrounding the uh, gas particle form membrane. So these are the crest class particles. So these uh, self-assembled bond layers, what we'll do, they will form a coating on each of the glass particles, and uh, since they are polymeric molecules. So they will repel each other. The process is called uh, steric interaction. The locker between the glass molecules so will be repelling each other, and this will also increase the hydrophobicity of the uh, ultimate glass powder that we are obtaining. Now, if you look into the material uh, technologies uh, used. In making hydro uh, super hydrophobic glass powder, so there are basically three uh, material technologies. The first one is uh, spinodal glass that we recently discussed. The second type of uh, super hydrophobic coating can be uh, silica nanoparticles. And the third one can be diatomaceous earth. These super hydrophobic coatings, they have applications. They are, are used in fabrics, in uh, sealants, electronics. Evaporative desalination. Uh, if you look in some specific applications of these coatings, uh, then they are. Anti fouling, uh, anti condensation. Anti-friction, anti-clotting, anti-corrosion, and some more. Now, the first uh, super hydrophobic coating uh, was developed in Sandia National Laboratory, USA. Uh, 
and here uh, and, and these these coatings show uh, 172 degrees of contact angles and they are prepared by aerosols and method there is a uh, company called uh, Ross Technologies uh, which uh, makes these hydrophobic coatings and super hydrophobic coatings uh, there is also a technology company called uh, Galville Biotech They are mainly involved in drug reduction and anti fouling. Other coatings are like uh, chlorothene. prepared by a company called Satonix Corporation USA. They've been found to have a contact angle of uh, 140 degrees. to 20 years and uh, they are uh, used in following aerosol coatings. Spory everything. And there is another uh, super hydrophobic coating called thermoblock. by a company called Microbase Coatings USA. And they are used in uh, high temperature anti-corrosive coatings. Mm -hmm. 